Some of the most spectacular bloodies have occurred at train derailments. 1983, a wrecked train with 11 tank cars holding highly combustible materials bursts into flames near Murdoch, Illinois. Safety supervisor George Weinland rushes to the scene to assess the situation. It was elected not to make any attempt to extinguish the fire or control it because the water just was not available to us. With no way to extinguish the blaze, concern grows that tank cars filled with liquid petroleum gas could erupt into bloodies. Firefighters pull back, and police evacuate a one-mile area surrounding the fire. But a TV news crew chooses to stay behind, a half mile from the flames. The fire is making a sound like a jet liner taking off. Something apparently blew up just a couple of minutes ago and started this big roar of flames and uh, the sound of a jet liner. What the news crew doesn't know is that the noise they are hearing is a warning of an impending blevy. Fuel discharged from a ruptured car has stoked the fire, and the flames are now heating another car carrying propane gas. Moments after the reporter signs off, 30,000 gallons of boiling propane push the tank's metal walls to the breaking point. Okay, get the tape on. You will leave it up. The news crew feels the heat wave from the blast. Blevies from liquid petroleum gases like propane are much hotter than those from other fuels, making them much more dangerous. Bystanders or people within the vicinity up to a thousand feet could suffer uh, burns from the radiant heat from the fireball that's been released. Liquid petroleum gas blevies also have more force, which can turn exploding tanks into airborne missiles. The six ton tank car in this blast rockets nearly three quarters of a mile into a field. At the Murdoch explosion, the propane car that Blevy set a record and traveled 3,640 feet. We need to go, Andy. Let's get yeah. the car and go. Shocked by the power of the blast, the news crew retreats two and a half miles from the derailment. As night falls, the flames finally make their way to a nearby tank car filled with highly flammable isobutane. This latest blevy creates a blinding whiteout as 50,000 gallons of fuel is ignited. Fortunately, just four minutes before the blast, George Wineland manages to escape the scene. We were about a quarter of a mile when that car went apart, and uh, it just put our vehicle, picked it up, and shoved it down the road. 48 hours after it started, the fire has burned itself out. Because the evacuation is swift and thorough, these explosions are the first major blevies in the United States that do not cause deaths or injuries. <laughs> <laughs> 